about a couple of things that have to do with wrestling here. Namely, the WrestleMania 32 main event. Now, okay, we know what the main event is going to be for Fastlane. And it's going to be a triple threat match between, between Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and the Beast, Brock Lesnar. All right, look. As far as common sense goes, we already know how this is going to go, really. It's going to come down to Brock Lesnar throwing them around, maybe Dean and Roman getting a little bit of offense, and then the Wyatt family comes out. They, they're going to take out Brock somehow. Somehow. Because they're on a collision course to WrestleMania. And it's going to come down to Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. Well, huh, guess how that's going to go. Remember the Survivor Series? Come on, guys. The only way that Dean Ambrose even has a chance of win or remotely winning this is if he somehow costs up the Intercontinental title between now and WrestleMania, and I don't think that's going to happen. For him to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship is just out of the question as long as he has the Intercontinental Championship. That's just me. That's just the way I look at it. That's just the way I see it. Because, again... This is one of the main reasons why people were upset that Triple H won the Royal Rumble in the first place. We all knew that Roman Reigns was in the collision course to meet him at WrestleMania. And no one wanted to see that. It had nothing to do with who deserved it or who didn't or anything like that. We knew that it was common fucking sense. Okay, there are a lot of people out there that don't like Triple H. That's fine. But it's just that we got to have a WrestleMania main event that we actually do want to see the main two combatants in the main event. Look at last year. People didn't want to see Roman Reigns there, even though, in my opinion, he was the only one that made sense at that point. But now, this time, it's going to be Roman Reigns and Triple H with Roman Reigns winning the big one and coming out on top. If Triple H were to retain that mania, that will be very, very surprising. It's not like he hasn't done it before. But Triple H doesn't really have a wrestling career anymore. He doesn't. He, he'll go in there every once in a while. He's kind of like a part-timer as far as in the ring. I just don't see why they... I, okay, look. There's a lot of injuries. Maybe they're selling them, themselves short as far as who can we put in the main event at WrestleMania. Who do we have? Look who we lost. No Cena, no Orton, no Daniel Bryan. No Cesaro. There are way too many injuries out there. And now it's been reported that Alberto Del Rio has a back injury. So it's, it's just that all these guys are being incapacitated and being injured. And it's just like, look, they're, they're, their shit is running a lot, lot thin. This is like, we don't even know what's going to be else for, or what else is going to be for WrestleMania besides the Wyatts and Lesnar, one of the Wyatts, maybe. Braun Strowman going against The Undertaker. Nobody wants to see that. Because Braun Strowman, you're going to... All right, look. Compared to most of the people in the past that The Undertaker's face, you had Jimmy Snuka, you had Jake the Snake Roberts, you even had Mark Henry, you had Giant Gonzalez. Some people think it's going to be worse in the line of those. Some people are like, oh, Braun Strowman is going to be worse than Giant Gonzalez. Even though we don't know that, but it kind of does look like it if they do choose Braun Strowman to face the fucking Undertaker. Some people say, no, Sting is, gonna, Sting is going to the Hall of Fame. He's not going to face the Undertaker and his neck is still messed up. It's not going to happen, okay? So, yeah, get that out of the way. You're going to have Bray Wyatt or the Wyatt family going against Brock Lesnar, the Beast. It, that's just, that, come on, please. You, there is no other collision course for anybody else to go. And again, this is just Bray Wyatt just being a sacrifice. Really, he's not going to beat the Beast. Three, even a three-on-one, they're not going to beat the Beast. It's just not going to happen, all right? And I don't see the Beast challenging Triple H at WrestleMania. I just don't see that. I, I, no. So, again, you, bo you most likely got a tag team turmoil that's going to take place at WrestleMania between the New Day, the Usos, and mm, the Lucha Dragons. They're out because Kalisto has a United States Championship. And then you have Sin Cara that's on the shelf. The Ascension, no, we don't need it. No, again, tag teams are running thin as well because of injuries and because... Well, the tag team division hasn't really been great in the first place, but you get my point. Then you have the United States Championship. You have the Intercontinental Championship. You have Kevin Owens. You have AJ Styles. 
there is a, a you know you have guys like Neville, you have the Andre the Giant Battle Royal that's probably going to take place. You have a lot of things that have to be filled up to this point. But I'm more concerned about the main event than anything else because most likely again it's going to be Triple H and Roman Reigns. That's the only collision course that is this can go to. Now, if they do choose someone else, I will stand right here and say I was wrong and I'll be excited about doing it. So, what do you guys think about this? As far as a WrestleMania, is this any lackluster than it has been the last couple of years? How do you feel? I mean, are you going to watch it? Or are you even going to be there? Are you going to go to a WrestleMania? It, it is It is in Texas. A lot of people are going. A lot of people got their tickets. Are you excited about it? Do you approve if it will be Roman Reigns versus Triple H in the main event? Who knows? Maybe you're one of those guys that says, man, fuck you. I'm looking forward to seeing that shit. Hey, I would like to hear it. Please. I, I, I welcome it. I welcome all comments. I welcome... Look. I'm just the type of person that just wants to talk about this and get everyone's opinions. So, yeah, drop kicks, body slams, throw motherfuckers over the top rope, both feet hitting the floor. Yes, I'm a wrestling fan. This is the theme, and I'll see you later.